Studying at home can be a little boring, but with these tips, I'll make your life a little bit easier. Hi everybody, welcome. This is the Approach International Student Center YouTube channel. My name is Marcelo and I work at Approach International Student Center, your first home away from home. Make sure you subscribe and like this video, share this video with other people so they can also get access to these amazing tips. So as I said in the beginning, studying English at home can be a little bit boring, but with these tips, I'll try to make your life a little bit easier. And these are simple tips, very practical tips. Everybody can do this, okay? I think the first tip that I have for you is the idea that you need to create a study schedule, okay? So remember, the English language and languages in general, they have four main columns, four main pillars. The first one is what we call um, listening, right? Which is the ability for you to understand what other people are saying. Now, the way you practice active listening, the way you practice understanding what other people are saying is different from another pillar that is speaking, for example. So the way you practice speaking is different from the way you practice listening. That's my point. So you need to have a study schedule for you to practice each ability. Now, obviously, you're not never going to just practice one ability. You know what I'm saying? For example, if you start practicing a vocabulary, you're going to obviously be practicing writing, listening, and even uh, speaking and pronunciation, right? Because you're going to try to pronounce those words. So if you have a study schedule set on Monday, I'm going to do this. On Tuesday, I'm going to do that. On Wednesday, I'm going to do the other. You are going to better organize yourself and make your study life easier. I promise you. And you may ask, Marcelo, how can I do that? How can I have a study schedule? Well, you can get many different uh, possibilities. And if you go on the internet and just type, you know, study schedules, you're going to have, you know, many different examples. But you can also tailor a study schedule for you. If you use, for example, ChatGPT, let's take advantage of artificial intelligence, right? So um, you can actually, you know, ask ChatGPT to create a study schedule for you based in your life. So you give, give ChatGPT your schedule and then uh, the AI will provide you with, you know, um, a study schedule that will fit, fit your needs and fit your schedule, okay? So the first tip I have for you before anything else is to create a schedule. Tip number two, again, we're not even talking about the study itself, okay? We did that in other videos, right? Today is to make your life easier. Tip number two is about creating an environment that is good for you to study. You need to be in a place that is clean, all right? You need to be in a place that is quiet. You need to be in a place that is comfortable for you to study English. Study English isn't always something that you're going to be like feeling like doing, you know? So, and that is even worse if you don't have an environment that you like. So try to set up a table uh, in your bedroom or in your kitchen, in your, I don't know where you live. Um, and, you know, organize everything, clean everything, make sure everything looks nice and clean. So you can concentrate only in those English words that you're going to learn, okay? Tip number one, remember, have a schedule. Tip number two, organize a space for you. I'm sure that that's going to help you as well. And tip number three, I would say use different resources. Don't just go for online stuff. Don't just use Duolingo and Lingo Clip and Memorize and all these other apps. Use books as well. Now, if you don't like books that much, it's still important for you to, to take a look at a book and go through the exercises, for example. The variety of resources will make your brain even work harder. So do your best to have different types of resources for you to study English. Don't just stay with the app stuff. 
Do some old school stuff as well. And don't just stay with some old school stuff. Do some technology things as well. I'm sure that this uh, amazing variety will help you even more learning your English language. And a bonus tip I have for you is to seek advice, seek feedback. Um, and, and this is complicated for some of you. I understand you may not have a teacher close to you or somebody who knows a little bit more um, of the English language than you, but it's so important for you to have somebody to just give you some feedback in your pronunciation, in your writing, in the exercises you're doing, right? So do your best to try to find someone who can help you um, achieve uh, this tip that I'm giving you. And I'm sure there are many websites online as well where you can, you know, have sometimes teachers who are available to kind of help you with that. Uh, back in the day, during <laughs> when I was learning English a long time ago, uh, we used to have an app called Pal Talk. Now, I'm not sure if this app is around. It's been, it's been years I don't use that. But um, it was a chat app, but it was like voice chat. And we used to have a menu on the left with many different rooms uh, separating between like subjects. And I remember there was like English learning or something, language learning or something like that. When you, when you clicked there, there was like Spanish, blah, blah, English. Okay, you clicked on the English uh, tab and you would open, you know, many rooms with people um, learning how to speak English. And usually in those rooms, there were teachers available for free and they were there to help, you know? So that happened with me when I didn't have access to any teachers. I went there to this app and I was able to have so much uh, feedback given uh, for my reading and so many other um, uh, situations, right? But, but more specifically speaking. Uh, so check that up, maybe, maybe it still exists. That was it for today, thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one, bye.